So if you've been on the Twitch grind for a while, you've probably thought about uploading your content to YouTube to create another revenue stream for yourself. The problem is, is that if you've been streaming with music like from Spotify or something, it's gonna get hit by content ID on YouTube and you're not gonna be able to monetize your content. The good news is that the latest version of XSplit 3.8 has some tech inside it that'll help you archive your content for YouTube. So the new feature in XSplit 3.8 is the application audio track. This track is enabled when you enable multi-track audio in XSplit and the application audio track only records audio from whatever application is in focus. So that could be your game, that can be a music playing window, that could be a web browser. Whatever you have clicked on and is in focus in Windows is where it pulls audio from. So let me show you how this works. Right here you can see I have VLC open and I've added an audio track from YouTube's audio library so that content ID doesn't affect me here. And then I have a game open, Broforce. And they're both generating sound. Now in XSplit, I'm gonna go ahead and open my local recording settings. So you can do this by right clicking on local recording. And I'm gonna make sure that multi-track audio is enabled. So if you wanna capture a specific application's audio, you need to make sure it's added as a source in XSplit in some way. So if you wanna capture your game audio, you need to make sure that you've added it as a game source. If you wanna capture say Spotify or YouTube music or something like that, you need to use window capture. So now that I've started local recording, I'm gonna click on my game a bit so I can get that audio. And then I'm gonna click over here on VLC so I can get the VLC audio. Now I'm gonna take this recording and drop it into Adobe Premiere. And you can see once I drop it in, all the audio tracks pop up. And when we go down here, you can see that this track is the application audio track. Now as you hear me play it, you'll hear the game sound and then the music sound. So that's pretty much all there is to using the application audio track, but you may be wondering, how am I gonna stream my game and record it at the same time? Isn't that gonna take up a bunch of resources? The best solution is to use a hardware encoder for your recordings like Intel QuickSync, Nvidia's NVENC, or AMD's VCE. You'll find all these options under the codec menu in your local recording settings. If you don't have a hardware encoder available, you can create a carbon copy of your stream and use this. Go into your streaming settings and enable carbon copy and enable create multi-track audio for the carbon copy. The only issue you might face is that if you have any frame drops in the stream, this will also happen in the carbon copy. If you want to create a really fast workflow for yourself to edit your videos, I recommend setting a hotkey to insert cue points in XSplit. The cue points will appear in the XSplit video editor so you can quickly jump around your clip. Cue points are also automatically generated whenever you switch scenes. So that's about it on making it easier to use your Twitch content for YouTube. I don't recommend just sending raw clips or short clips on YouTube. It doesn't really work so well with that. Maybe make compilations of funny moments or fun things. And even if you don't get that many views at first, it's a great marketing tool for yourself. You can use it to kind of introduce yourself to other partnerships or brands or sponsors and just great ways to kind of get yourself out there. If you have any questions about the feature, make sure to leave a comment. If this tutorial was useful to you, give a like and subscribe, and we'll have more stuff coming very soon, working on some exciting projects for FGC stuff and just live stuff. So thanks for watching and catch you later.